Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday to you. I hope you guys are having a good morning. It's a brisk morning in the Midwest. It's a little cold this morning, so I have my little sweater on this morning. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Uh, mine was really good. I hope you guys are remaining safe and you're happy and your family's doing really well. I just want to welcome you back to another edition of Beauty Therapy Sundays. If you guys have not had the opportunity to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe today. Just push that red subscribe button at the bottom of this video, and then you'll be alerted to all the videos coming up in the future. And please like, share, and comment. And as I tell you every week, if you make a comment, I always respond to your comments. And please give me that thumbs up. I love it when you give me the thumbs up. And send me a comment, you guys. I love hearing from you. I love hearing that you're enjoying the, the videos and I love your questions. So please send me questions and I'll answer your questions on one of these segments. Um, today, uh, we're going to talk about, you know, you, have you heard of these solutions that um, you put on your bags or you put on your lines and then you take away the bags and the lines in like two minutes? So I was talking to my friend, Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Barbara is one of my good friends in Chicago. And we always talk about products. And she was asking me if I had ever used one of those two-minute uh, wrinkle and depuffing products. And I told her it's been a long time since I've had one of those uh, products in my kit. The problem that I had with them before is they would not sustain makeup. You know, the makeup would always... Uh, dissolve them. And so they didn't work really, really well. So I kept seeing this one um, over and over again um, coming up on one of my feeds. It's, it's called My Perfect Eyes. And so I wanted to find out if the formulas have been reformulated and they're advanced enough to withstand applying makeup on top of them. So I'm going to take you on this little journey myself. I have not used, this will be the first day I've ever used this product and I want to see if it works and uh, just take a look. All right, you guys, we're going to try this together. This is the first time that I've ever used this particular product. So I'm shaking it up really good. The directions say to shake it up really, really well. So I'm doing that to make sure that everything's distributed very equally. And it says take a, about the amount of a pea and put it on the back of your hand. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing just a little bit on the back of my hand. And it says to use this particular amount for both eyes. So, of course, you can't have any sort of cream or makeup or anything. It has to be completely clean and dry. You're on dry tissue. So I'm going to take it. And it says to apply it. Don't pat. It says to go from inside to out. So I'm following those directions. And don't get it in your eyes. So I'm doing that. It says if you have any thing on the outside to just kind of pat that in with your finger. So I'm doing that. Trying to follow these directions explicitly. And it says try not to move your face a lot. So I'm going to, that's why I'm talking the way I'm talking. <laughs> uh, so it says to wipe it across. Do the other eye. Just go from out to in. Just smooth it with a clean finger. The corner, so that's what I'm doing. This is to do it firmly. So I'm doing it firmly. A little bit more there. You know what? I'm going to put it here too. I'm going to see if it'll work down there. Might as well, right? Okay, here we go. So 
It says to let it set for about two minutes. So I'm just gonna sit here for two minutes. You guys just don't need to watch me sit here. So I'm gonna sit here for two minutes. I can feel it tightening now. I can feel the under eye tightening. So I'm gonna keep my face still and sit here for two minutes. And then I will be back with you to let you know, see how it all works out. Okay, you guys, um, it feels like a, there's a tiny bit of a little film um, over the eye, but it's really soft. It's very flexible. And as you can see, it did sort of uh, even out that little divot that I had here, and it took out sort of the lines there too. Um, it made the lines a little less noticeable there, so it made me look a little bit more rested. What do you think? I think it worked really, really well there. So, um, so men, what you can do, um, it's, it's starting to loosen up too. It's becoming more flexible. It says it becomes more flexible with time. So, uh, men, if you want to use this, you can stop now. And then the ladies, if you want to apply um, a foundation, it has to be an oil-free foundation or like a mineral foundation or powder foundation, something like that over this particular product. Any kind of oil will loosen up the product so it can't have any oil in it. So um, I'm going to let this set for about 20 minutes to become more flexible. And then I'm going to show the ladies how to apply a little bit of foundation on top of the solution that we use. So we'll be back in about 20 minutes. All right, you guys, it's it's, it's loosened up quite a bit. It's, it feels a lot more flexible. So ladies, what we're going to do is going to take a, show you how to take, I don't have a model today, so I have to do this myself, but it's all right. <laughs> so we're going to take a little bit of concealer and it says not to pull or stretch. So I'm just going to pat that on top. Look at that. Yeah, that works. That looks really, really good. It's uh, just kind of gives you a little bit of highlight, but at the same time, it doesn't destroy the integrity of the uh, product. So look at that. Yeah, it does work. So I was always skeptical about these um, products before because makeup would always loosen them up. Okay, so there we, we go. That looks pretty good, right? All right, so you can do that too here and you know, um, you could put on your makeup as you normally would, but it does diminish the bags and diminish the, the fine lines. So I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, you guys. So here is uh, the before. This is before I use the product. You can kind of see, especially the divot part around my mouth, you can see that. And then this is a photo of after I use the product. And you see it smoothed out that area under my lip and it smoothed out the line under my eye a little bit. And then this is the photo for the ladies if you're going to use makeup on top. And so it really, really flattened that under eye area, didn't it? It flattened it really, really well. So all I can say is yes, yes for Miss, my perfect eyes, right? I like it. I think it worked really, really well. I think I may just add one of these in my, for my own personal drawer in there. So um, let me know what you think. I do have um, a suggestion for the guys. What happens is... It does leave a little bit of a kind of white film on your face. So be careful about that. So rub it in well, and then just be cautious not, not to have that sort of white film build up. So you have to blend it out a little bit. But it's okay for the ladies because they can always cover that uh, white film with uh, foundation. So let me know if you decide to use this. Let me know how it works for you. are connecting with life lessons. Um, I got a lot of comments from last week's uh, session. You, you know, you were touched by that and I, I'm, I'm happy. That's what I want to happen. I want this to sort of be a dialogue. So keeping with that vein, um, I want to talk about um, battle scars. I don't know anybody who hasn't received some battle scars in their lives, whether it be from, you know, childhood or or teenage years or 
early adulthood or even into adulthood, um, we can we can go through things that can scar us and can create wounds. I think the important thing is to not let that wound become infected where it affects other things in our lives and the way that we live our lives. Um, the one thing that you want to keep in mind is it's okay to ask for help, whether that be in counseling or therapy or even being able to talk to a friend. I am very, very fortunate because I have some, some wonderful friends and wonderful family members that I can talk to about things very honestly with no judgment. So if you have that kind of help, that's wonderful too. I think the thing to remember is that when you are living in darkness, when you're surrounded by darkness, the thing about darkness is darkness wants to keep you in darkness. Darkness does, does not propel you toward light. Darkness keeps you stuck. So you want to move forward. You want to be able to move, gravitate out of that darkness toward the light. I think a lot of us will sometimes, we will want to blame, you know, other people for our lives. But I always tell people, you know, there is a, there is a um, limitation. There is a point that you cannot blame somebody else for your, your life. There is an expiration date on blaming somebody else. So I want to leave you with this thought. You know, you are driving the car of your life and you get to decide where you're going in that car and you also get to decide who is going to be with you on that journey in the car. So keep moving forward, you guys. Keep working. Keep being honest with yourself. Keep being authentic. Keep being real. I think that's really important. Keep evolving and keep keep growing so that we can continue to try to grow into very evolved, very realized human beings. So take that with you today. And I just also wanted to say, you know, the product, My Perfect Eyes, was not sponsored. It's just a product that I wanted to try. And please remember, subscribe. You know, please give me the thumbs up. Please do that. Just push that thumbs up button right now. <laughs> I enjoy that when you do that. It means a lot to me. It helps the, the channel to grow. And it helps the channel to grow when you are subscribing. It is growing slowly and steadily. And I, I love that because it means you're coming back to the channel. So as I end today, thank you so much again for watching. And as always, what do we say? Please be good to yourself and be kind to everybody that you meet. Have a good Sunday, everybody.